What's up guys? I finally got that load dropped off from my last video. If you're not sure what load I'm talking about, check this out. All right, good morning guys. So it's Thursday morning. I still got about 1,300 miles. I ended up having to uh, reroute, <coughs> excuse me. Right now we're currently, I'm currently stuck. I'm just northwest of Albuquerque and that, uh, there's been a severe uh, weather storm going through that passed through New Mexico. It's now in Texas and it shoots up the whole northeastern, uh, of the northeastern side of the country all the way up. So we're dealing with icy roads and all that. I had to alternate my plan to go 40 eastbound through Amarillo because all my other roads are literally shut down right now. And they actually just opened up eastbound on uh, I-40. I guess there was a uh, two truck, two semi truck fatality that just happened over there through the icy roads. So, you know, the name of the game is being safe. So I'm gonna reroute to Amarillo. This load here was supposed to drop on Friday morning. Obviously, I'm not gonna make that. And uh, it's been rescheduled for Monday morning. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and head over to Amarillo, get a 34 under my belt and some downtime, and then uh, play it safe and drop it first thing Monday morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and head out, guys, and uh, we'll see. We'll see, maybe I can just slide in over to the Big Texan, try out one of their steaks. I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. So as you can see, I had a pretty slow week last week. I only did uh, 1,500 miles. I was snowed in, iced in, you name it. And like I said, we just got done dropping that load off. Haven't got my new load assignment yet. Waiting on that. As Soon as I get it, I'll let you guys know. All right guys, so I just got my load assignment. Looks like we're going to uh, Alvarado, Texas to Saber, pick up some steel. It's a no tarp load, so gotta love that. Uh, and we're going to be taking it all the way to, let me see here. We're going to be taking this load all the way to Nyland, California. That's going to give me a total of 1,300 miles starting off this week. Uh, it's supposed to drop on Friday, Friday morning. So hopefully I can get this drop Friday morning. It's going to be on time. I don't have any weather delays like last week and then uh, get another load for the weekend. So if all goes well, I may be able to wrap this week up with 3,000 miles. It all depends on what kind of load I get for the weekend run. Anyways, let's do it. I'll see you guys at the shipper. So here we are at Saver, following this forklift driver. Looks like we're gonna get some of this galvanized steel here. Not too sure. Got some tight turns though, I know that. Man, this place is huge. Galvanized 
pipes out here? Yeah, so I'm thinking I'm getting one of these. This is what they give me. A little baby load. I was like, come on, man. You're insulting me here. I want, I want one of those big galvanized steel pipes. Are you gonna give me this? This is weighing like five pounds. Yeah. Oh well. I guess it'll be a light, easy load. Unless I gotta deal with uh, bad road conditions. Yeah. So. Uh, I guess I'm gonna strap this up and head on to California with this little baby load here. It is what it is, guys. It still pays the same. Let's do it. So I'm all secured up. This is, this is how it's looking. Got it all strapped. I got that barrel up top there, double strapped. I also did a two inch strap going across the front of it, coming down over here. Got this little crate all strapped up, two straps again, alternate pull on it. And then this nice long galvanized piece of steel. I got that all strapped up. It's a beautiful day out, guys. It's hard to believe it's actually winter time right now. It's, uh, I believe it's around 60 degrees over here. I'm in Texas. I went through Abilene already, and it uh, looks like I'll be taking 20 west. Then I'll be hopping on 10, going into California there, and then shooting 8 north, I believe it is. So, yeah, I mean, what more can I say? It's an easy load. We're going to be riding, enjoying the weather, and seeing what else we can get into today. Let's hit the road. I didn't contribute to that at all. Uh, I ended up driving, I was able to drive 530 miles yesterday. It's not, it's not my best day, but guys, I was, I was tired for some reason. I believe it was, uh, yeah, it was almost, the, it was 11 o'clock when I shut down last night. And then in the middle of the night, I woke up at two in the morning, wide awake. Ended up staying up till four. I was supposed to get up this morning at uh, eight o'clock. I didn't end up getting up until uh, 9.15. So running a little bit behind. But yeah, I don't know if I told you guys the uh, yesterday. This load is scheduled for Monday. Or uh, not Monday. I'm still trying to wake up, guys. This load is scheduled for uh friday morning delivery and so far the way i'm at way i'm going i only got 770 miles to go i should be able to do it close to 600 around 600 a little over 600 who knows today and uh, which ain't gonna leave me much tomorrow so i should be uh, i should be fine for an afternoon delivery on thursday we'll have to see just wrapping up my pre-trip here guys and uh i'm gonna hit the road yeah, I didn't really do much yesterday. I only drove a few uh, hundred miles. Wasn't much to cover. The reason why I did that is because my DM got back with me and said that I can't drop off today. Um, 
they're not open. The, the cons isn't open for some reason today. So I'm gonna end up having to drop it off Friday morning. Well, yesterday when I had about 770 miles, I decided to drive close to 400 yesterday and then break it up and uh, drive 400 today. That way next week when I get my recaps back, I don't have uh, one day where I got just three hours. So, you know, that's something to think about. Always be keeping your recaps in mind. So I should arrive at the cons around 2.30 today. And uh, hopefully they got overnight parking. I'm just gonna shut it down there and then get unloaded first thing 0800 in the morning. Right now, I'm currently at the Blue Beacon. I figured since I got time to kill, I might as well get my truck washed. You know, this truck never stays washed for too long. It's, it seems like as soon as I get my truck washed, they send me somewhere to drive it through the mud. But that's no big deal. That's what flatbed's all about. Check out this line right here. So yeah, this is a typical Blue Beacon uh, line. It wraps all the way around that palm tree in the back there. And then these guys are coming out over there. So yeah, I'm gonna probably be sitting here for a good hour. And then I figure after I'm done here, I'll swing into Danny's, get me some breakfast and then uh, wrap this run up today. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get this truck washed and I'll see you guys a little bit later. So that was fun. It took an hour and 45 minutes for me to get through that line and get my truck washed. And it probably only took around 10 minutes to anywhere between five and 10 minutes for the actual wash to be uh, done. Oh uh, yeah, that's blue, that's blue beacons for you there, guys. But yeah, uh, one thing I forgot to mention, I don't know if I mentioned it in one of my other videos, but Melton does pay for truck washes every three weeks, which is a huge benefit. Um, you know, I like to keep my truck clean. It represents professionalism. And uh, I just like to look sharp while I'm out here on the road, guys. So anyways, I'm gonna go in here in the ditties, get something to eat, and then we're gonna hit the road. So I'm 40 miles away from the shipper, and I'm gonna shut down right here. It's beautiful out here at this little, it's pretty unique, this rest area is set up. I mean, this is how I got my truck parked, just a little, and this little dirt area right here. So yeah, it's just outside of Yuma. Anyways, like I said, I'm 40 miles away from the uh, cons. I'm gonna shut down here tonight. And I think that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. If you like the content, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you all on the next load. Take it easy.